Okay, this is the liver. You can see the large right lobe. Here's the left lobe. You have to look from the back to see the uh, caudate lobe and the four-sided quadrate lobe. You can see a branch of the hepatic portal vein here coming in, bringing deoxygenated but nutrient-rich blood. Here's a branch of the hepatic artery coming in, bringing oxygenated blood that's low in nutrients. This is the gallbladder, cystic duct. Bile often uh, backs up through the cystic duct to the gallbladder where uh, the bile is stored and concentrated until it's needed. Uh, coming from the liver, we have uh, branches of the hepatic uh, ducts. Uh, leaving the liver would be uh, hepatic veins. You don't see one of them here. There should be two, and this is the inferior vena cava. On the front of it, we have um, the falciform ligament, not shown here, would be also the round ligament, or ligamentum teres, a remnant of the umbilical vein coming in. But this um, is attached to the anterior wall of the abdominal pelvic cavity, this falciform ligament. Uh, here we see uh, histology of the liver, roughly eight-sided lobules, central vein, we look more, and here's the hepatic portal triad here that I just showed you. A branch of the hepatic portal vein, a branch of the hepatic artery, and a branch of a bile duct leaving the kidney, of the liver, pardon me. Um, here we have the same thing. This is the hepatic portal triad. The two types of blood are coming in. A branch of the hepatic artery bringing oxygenated blood here. A branch of the hepatic portal vein bringing deoxygenated blood, but nutrient-rich blood. They will mix together in these liver sinusoids, a special kind of capillary. Eventually then, uh, it will leave through a central vein. Being made in the, in the uh, liver um, is bile, which will leave through bile canaliculi and th eventually through um, a bile duct, a branch of the bile duct. Okay. Uh, in the liver we have hepatocytes that are doing the jobs of the liver. Uh, we also have cupfer cells here or also known as stellate reticuloendothelial cells. Eventually the blood will all go back through, as I said, the hepatic veins to the inferior vena cava.